Hey, Roger. Hi, Rich. Nice to see you again. You too. You are the god of drilling around these parts. Thank what are you, you doing here today? Uh, we're drilling a couple ball holes, total 750 feet. Okay, two holes into the ground. Correct. Now, the system is geothermal. Let me explain how it works. No matter what happens outside, if it's 100 degrees on the hottest day of the summer or minus 2 degrees on the coldest day of the year, below our feet, about 20 feet down, it's always 50 degrees. And we can use that consistent temperature to great advantage. First, we dig a hole. A loop of pipe is installed and filled with antifreeze and water. We circulate the antifreeze through the pipe. A geothermal heat pump is just like any standard air conditioner, except it can also work in reverse. In the summer, a geothermal system uses 50 degrees from the earth to cool down the refrigerant. In the winter, a geothermal system uses that same 50 degrees to heat up the refrigerant. These systems can save between 50 to 80 percent over conventional systems. That is great technology, but we still have to get the energy out of the ground. That's a couple of holes out of you. We do. Take we me do. through it. That's why we brought that piece of equipment there. All right. So what's right below my feet? Dirt. Okay. Under the dirt is ledge. We have to insert through the dirt so it doesn't cave in this pipe. Okay. A steel pipe first. All the way down to the bedrock. And once we're in the bedrock, we don't need the, the pipe anymore because the rock itself makes its own borehole. Okay. And this is our drill bit? This is the drill bit. We end up drilling a six inch borehole. They're made of tungsten carbide. Yeah. And that'll just Pretty keep going guys. down three, four hundred feet. Correct, correct. And All then right. after we're done with that, we have to come back out of the hole and we insert this U bend uh, piping with the U bend okay. on the bottom. So this is a polyethylene pipe that's going to be filled with antifreeze right here. Correct. And that drops all the way down that shaft. Yep. And then after we insert that, we have to put in the grout. Okay. And that's the two bags. We mix the two bags together with water. And that's inserted down to the bottom of the hole and fill, fill the whole thing. hole. All right. Now that's really important too because without the grout, you'd have all the heat in the rock, but it wouldn't transfer through the pipe and into this pipe with the antifreeze without That's it, right? correct. Okay, good. All right. Well, we've talked enough. Time is money. You ready to go? Ready. All Let's right. go. The part of the drilling machine is that bit attached to the end of a long pipe. When the machine pushes the pipe down as far as it can, another pipe is attached and the drilling goes on. This continues until the desired depth is achieved. When the drilling is complete, the loop of pipe goes down the hole. All right, so that's our first one completed. How far do you end up going on this? 300 feet. Okay. And how do you decide where you put these holes on the property? The ease of getting the drill rig in, close to the house. Okay, great. And you got two of them going in on this job? Yes. That's going to be a 450 footer. Uh, we keep them 15 feet apart, so that way they, they don't have any interaction with temperature. Okay, great. All right, what do you got left on this one? You haven't drilled this yet, right? Yeah, we got the rest of today and tomorrow. Okay. So if you got another whole day, I'm going to leave you. We'll be back in about two weeks to put the inside equipment in. Thanks, my friend, for helping as always. Thanks. Peace. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.